there, everybody. It's Olfan from DragonBallToys.com. How you guys been? I've missed you all. Um, I'm making a whole bunch of videos at the moment. Um, some really, some on some really big, exciting stuff too. Some stuff I've really been wanting to uh, do video of for a long time now. Um, but I just got a new camera, and I'm still kind of getting used to it. And um, a couple of these little topics that I'm doing videos about at the moment are taking up uh, quite a bit of research, um, and it's uh, I need a break from it every once in a while. So I'm doing something um, a little bit faster this time around. I thought I, today I would show off um, some of my fantastic Italian Dragon Ball GT Diagostini figures. Um, mainly reason is because I just got a whole bunch in the mail today, actually, and um, realized how much I love them. Uh, and I thought it'd be fun to show these off since I don't. I I don't really think I've seen too much video of these guys um, on YouTube at all, although they are pretty popular on DragonBallToys.com. As I said before, Diagostini is an Italian toy company, um, and from what I understand, Dragon Ball GT is pretty popular in Italy. Um, I think all of Dragon Ball is, but for some reason it seems like a lot of, a lot of Dragon Ball GT stuff, like a lot of Dragon Ball GT merchandise comes from Italy. And um, I believe that before Gyochi Prezosi started making um, Dragon Ball toys, uh, I think I think Diagostini was the first uh, Dragon Ball toy company uh, in Italy. I could be wrong about that. Um, it could also be Panini too, but I'm pretty sure that it was Diagostini. Um, this is definitely a fact that I should know, but I don't know. I don't know how many figures in the series there are. I know that besides these, uh, Diagostini also released a chess set. Um, and later on in this video, we're also going to be talking a tiny little bit about Editions Atlas, who is a, uh, they're a French toy company, and they put out their own versions of the Diagostini figures, as well as some of their own. They also made their own, uh, Dragon Ball GT chess set, so they, Editions Atlas very much mirrored what Diagostini did. Um, so this is by no means a full set of Diagostini figures. It's a nice little selection of, um, some of the common ones, some of the super, super rare ones. Nice little, little collection of them. Uh, I think that there are 61 Editions Atlas figures, so I think that the number of Diagostini figures is somewhere around there, um, but I think it's more in the realm of like 40-something, because I know that Editions Atlas did a couple of, um, of their own that were totally unique to Editions Atlas. Um, the, the, one of the big reasons, there's two reasons why these figures are so popular among Dragon Ball toy collectors. One is because they fit in pretty decently scale-wise with older, um, with, with Irwin toys, with, um, with old Bandai, uh, you know, Super Battle Collection toys. Some of the Jax toys, I think they fit in pretty well. Um, this is a five inch Irwin uh, Goku. And, you know, you can sort of see a nice little comparison, um, you know, with the Frieza, with the Chao Zhu. Um, he, they fit in, they fit in, he fits in pretty well. I don't think all of them are to scale with, with those figures, but a great deal of them are. Um, and besides scale, they're really beautifully detailed and they're really, really beautifully painted. Um, they look like candy. You know, uh, this is the Mr. Popo, and it's probably, it's easily one of the best looking Mr. Popo figures, um, ever made. I mean, the sculpture, I think you can, you can see a little bit of the detail on his jacket and just the way he's painted. I mean, they really, really, really look like, like they're painted in sugar, you know, like they're, 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 they're made out of candy. And I love that look. And it's, um, I think it's, it's, uh, uh, it, it's, it's, it's made a lot of people fall in love with these figures over the years. So I guess the best way to start, um, talking about these, just to talk about a little bit about them each individually, um, just kind of show each of them and talk a little bit about them. This is the Chaozu. Now you have to keep in mind that all of, all of these versions of these characters are, are the uh, Dragon Ball GT version. So if you're not really into Dragon Ball GT, that's kind of a setback, but they are actually some of the nicest Dragon Ball GT toys probably ever made. So, um, I don't know. The, I'm not a big fan of Dragon Ball GT, but a lot of Dragon Ball GT toys are so beautiful. They always get the best sculpts and the best paint jobs and, you know, the sharpest lines and just, just, they're always so well done. So sometimes the toys always make Dragon Ball GT kind of worth it for me. Um, it's a nice little Chaozu. It's not the best Chaozu I've ever seen. Um, something kind of strange about him, like his head's a little... I don't know if his head's too big. It's kind of it's it's hard to it's hard to put into words, but um, it's a fairly nice Chaozu. Uh, definitely nice to have him in the collection. I spoke a little bit about the Popo before. Um, again, he's really well detailed. Um, he's the only Popo figure I can think of that's really into scale with you know the Irwin and Irwin figures and um, uh, 
Super Battle Collection figures. So, so really, it's kind of a treasure for a lot of people. This figure, um, not only because just how high quality he is, but because he, you know, he's, he's so perfectly matched with those other toys. Uh, definitely one of the most beautiful oobs, uh, oob toys ever made. I mean, of course, this is the GT version of him, but um, he looks so good. I mean, this is one of the one of the characters, especially that looks like the best. It's one of the best Diagostini figures um, ever. Uh, I don't even, I mean, he just, just, I don't really know what else I can say about him. I mean, he just, the, the body on this guy is fantastic. And I always thought Oob had a great character design. I really do. I like everything from his gi to just, just the way that they drew his body in GT is just fantastic. He's a great looking character. This is one of the most, um, probably one of the rarest and most sought after Diagostini figures. I believe I got this from Brangita, like, oh, maybe a couple, like maybe six months ago now, if it's been that long. God. Um, uh, the eyes are a little strange. That's the only thing that's kind of weird on the Frieza. But otherwise, he is so beautiful. It's one of the best, really, like, it's often thought of as one of the best Frieza figures ever. It's just so gorgeously proportioned and detailed. And um, his tail looks great. It's a beautiful Frieza. It really is. I know very little about Daltaki. I really do. I, 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 he's just a very strange looking character, so I, I had to get the figure. Um, he looks a little bit like a Lon Chaney character or something like that. So... I kind of like Daltaki, he's very strange. <laughs> Dende, now again, it's a GT Dende, but Dende did look like this in Z. So, um, and I believe it's the only Dende figure um, of Dende at this age. Of course, there was the Irwin Dende, uh, child Dende, sort of like from the Namek era stuff, but a uh, beautiful Dende figure, really, really gorgeous. Now, I I, uh, I have to admit, you know, I, I have no idea what this character is called. I never saw the episodes with this character in it. But um, he's pretty cool, isn't he? He's like a like a baby robot cat thing. Um, the edition's Atlas version of this character, of uh, this toy, is green. But um, I kind of I kind of like it in the red and yellow better. It's great looking. Look at that face. It's like an evil baby. This is one of my personal favorites. This is the TN. Um, yeah, I know. I, I actually have seen a lot of people like really not like this figure because just simply because it's GT TN, but. My god, I mean, he's so great looking. Look at that sculpt. Look at the posies and the cape and the everything. He's just such a great looking TN. You know, it's like, I, I as far as TN figures go with me, it's like, beggars can't be choosers. There's too few TN, you know, toys to really get that choosy about it, in my opinion. So, I, a great TN. Definitely worth having. I wasn't expecting to like this one at all. I really wasn't expecting much from it, even though people have repeatedly told me how nice it is. But this is a fabulous Master Roshi figure. Um, they even put like the master on his, I think it's the master on his bag and the turtle symbol, which I was really surprised to see when I when I was playing with it uh, earlier. And you know, it's, it's, it's GT Master Roshi, like a character that got so little fanfare in GT, but was so important to the rest of the of the uh, the first two series, um, and I just he could not have been like better <laughs> better done. He really couldn't have. It's probably honestly, God, I mean, I know I say like this is the best, this is the best, this is the best, but really, this is probably one of the best Master Roshi, to Roshi toys I think I've ever seen. He's gorgeous. He's so 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 well sculpted and beautifully painted. This is Chi Chi, a great Chi Chi figure. Not very many Chi Chi figures, and I think this is the only Chi Chi figure in this outfit. Um, I haven't seen enough of GT to know what episodes she actually appeared looking like this, but uh, quite, quite, quite well done. Um, another of my personal favorites, this is Goten. Uh, I, <laughs> poor Goten. Um, I actually have always really liked Goten's um, character design in GT for some reason, even though I was really kind of upset that they ditched his, uh, his Goku hair and everything, and he was so hopelessly ineffectual in GT. And, and in Z to some extent, but um, I've always had a soft spot for Goten, and this is a great figure. He's, again, I mean, and I've, I've probably said this with every single one of them so far, but really well sculpted, really well sculpted and beautifully painted. I hope that some of the bright candy-like, um, you know, texture on, on these things is coming out on the camera at all. So gorgeous. 